Hi friends, my name is Raj Shakaradi and if you are seeing my video for the first time, just don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. In the last video we have seen, we have created our own component and we have created some static data in order to display in the HTML file like that. Um, uh, in this video what we are going to do is, we are going to create one more component and we want to do one way binding by using, uh, we have created one dummy data in the component and that component data we not we, we need to display in the html file in this video we are going to see for that what i am trying to do is i am trying to create a new component here for that there is a command ng generate ng generate component component i am giving the component as employee I want to generate an employee component. Click on enter. You can see that the employee component has created and it, it created four files. We have seen in this earlier video and it is updated in the app module.ts also. You can see that there is an employee component here. Here, what I am trying to do is I want to create one employee class here, new file. The file name I am giving as employee ts employee dot ts here I am trying to export export class employee here I have I, I will write some fields id and it is of number and I will write name and it is of string and email and it is of string and I will write mobile also mobile and it is of number I am writing and what I will do is in the app component.ts I will create a employee object here employee and I want to I am trying to initialize the values id id I am giving some id 1 name name giving some value pass shaker email email I am giving as yes giving some rush record at gmail.com finally mobile giving some mobile number this is the mobile number I am giving just trying to save it In the last video we have seen in order to work with your uh, um, in order to see your employee data in the HTML we need to copy the selector and we need to give in the parent that before doing that what I will do is I am trying to copy the bootstrap table format here bootstrap table format I will use this one What I will do is I am trying to copy this table structure. Just to open your employee component.html file and I will paste here and I will remove all this uh, all this one from here. Uh, 
and I will remove this scope also. And what I will do is here I will give the ID name email and I will write one more header for mobile number. mobile uh, if we, in order to work with the data binding what we need to do is we need to do like that and we need to write whatever the name you given in the employee.component.es I, I am trying to use the same name here employee.id similarly I am trying to use the same for remaining also. I will change the ID to name and here email and here mobile. Mobile number also I have changed and uh, what else we need? Uh, we need to copy this selector employee. App iPhone employee and go to your parent parent component dot HTML. This is my parent component, my component, not this one. App component dot HTML and we need to use here. Uh, you need to write as a tag here. Let me copy the name here. Copy the selector name of your component and go to your parent component dot html and I will make it as a tag here and I will remove the previous component tag from here. Just I am trying to save it. I am trying to start the server ng server iphone iphone open. It is trying to compile, it will take for a while. You can see that it is compiled successfully and it is opened uh, in the browser and whatever the data we have written in the our component.ts file, our, our component file, the data is displaying here. I, I think the email is wrong here. What I will do is I will change the email. Talk to fast record. Just I am trying to save it. You can see that it is it got updated. Like that we can we can see one way data binding in Angular. Uh, in the data we have written in the component file. Our employee component file we have seen we have stored that uh, data in the HTML file. This is one way data binding. And uh, if, if what I will do is I will go to my parent component dot HTML app component dot HTML. I will use the same selector one more time. What will happen? I will write three times here. Just trying to save it. You can see three times I copied the selector, uh, the same selector in the parent component, parent component dot HTML. Then it is showing three times the same data in the HTML place. Um, in this video, we have seen one way data binding. The data available in the app dot component, uh, um, my component data I am showing in the HTML file finally. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. And if you are seeing my video for the first time, just don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching.